Hey everyone, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon or evening. I have a very interesting topic for you guys and this time the tone of voice or the recording style is going to be slightly different because usually I have a footage in place, I have a story to tell. This time it's different, I want to talk about like priorities in general and I think it's going to be a bit more natural and not that fast paced. And also the reason why I talk a bit slower is because I have this allergy rush, it's really bad today and my nose is stuck so excuse me for that. I've been getting multiple requests and I saw multiple videos, many many videos talking about different type of things which are going to make you a good player or good in arena breakout or help you to farm coin and um, all of those have some level of value we can discuss guns armor control sensitivity and all kind of stuff but we need to put them into order before I head into like actually setting the priorities, let's define what makes you successful in the game. Arena Breakout is one of those rare games where the goals might be different for different players. And one may say that I'm very successful in the game because of something. And the other person is going to say that, you know, what you are talking about is not important for me. And to like make this more accurate, I'm talking about rank points or your rank level versus storage value. I have good proof that these two like main goals are somewhat clashing. Like I know very professional players who are legend 50 star players and their inventory value is below 10 million. And on the other side of the coin, I know players who are not that skilled and they know that they are not the best players in arena breakout still their storage value is 20 million 30 50 million or even above because they keep like grinding and they play in a way where they don't force themselves into pvp and therefore if you avoid fights and you are playing more safe you are more patient then obviously you can grind more money back to the pvp mindset so if it really matters to you that you want to be one of the best ones in the game then storage value doesn't matter that much if you have enough money to buy your equipment and start the game with a t6 helmet and one of your favorite guns like a fall a modded fall then why should you care about like piling up all that storage value it doesn't it doesn't matter and on screen by the way you have the new skins the new victory knife the new persistence uh, ajax skin new ayak skin new uh, akm skin s12k aks 74u i've been playing with these and i have them in the background because these are solid proof of kind of demonstrate you or show you what I'm talking about. So the thing I want to highlight is that the gun, the ammunition, the armor, these all matter, but it's not actually these which decide whether you're going to be successful or you're going to extract or you're going to have a high storage value. Obviously, if you go for PvP, then your equipment matters more. If you are that type of person who is going for the storage value, then it doesn't matter that much. It's a bit more complicated. Let me explain. Let me explain. We need to go two steps back. So what is the thing that matters the most? The thing that matters the most is how you play the game. Okay, how you move on the map. It's not the armor. It's not the gun. It's not uh, the ammunition. And let's call it like your tactics or your strategic gameplay. All the game knowledge, like knowing the map, understanding like, you know, the spawns and the extractions, knowing the items, all of that falls into this topic. How you move, how you select your location, how you pick your fights. Can you decide properly when to push, when to fall back, when to attack, um, when to be sneaky? 
your timings and all kind of stuff. There is a second big topic, big, big, huge topic, which is almost as important as the first one. And we usually refer to that as your skill level. And when I say skill level, again, it's more of like you know, a collection of things. It's not one specific thing. One of them is obviously aim, aim accuracy and stuff like that. And when you say skill, then that's the first thing usually people come up with. Like he is skilled because he has a very good aim. You can uh, be someone who aims fast, but you know, your movement sucks, for example. Maybe you cannot peek or maybe you cannot throw a nade properly. Also think about the more minor things. Like can you easily crouch prone, access your med kits and, and, and all kinds of things like, like including sensitivity um, and all the settings you have in the game. All of that fall into this category because ultimately skill is about how professionally you can control the game. Because it might be that in your head you exactly know what needs to be done, but you cannot transfer that to your fingers and your fingers are not doing what you actually want them to do. And this requires tons of practice. And now we get to the third one, the gun and the ammunition. And this is how it relates to the videos you see in the background. And I'm gonna tell you why. Until now I didn't even talk about the skins. The skins, by the way, I think look pretty pretty nice. I think that for majority of players, it's gonna slightly improve their performance because they feel unique, they feel stronger. So long story short, I hope you're gonna have some cheap skins because there's like kind of a psychological impact. The way the footage relates to this topic is that I've been trying all of the guns. I've been playing with the 80,000 AEC with the 50,000 AKM, I've been um, playing with the S12K, and guess what? The best game I had was with an S12K. I extracted with approximately 1 million on a farm. The point I want to make is that it doesn't really matter. I mean, it does to a certain extent, but don't think that if you have a good gun and good ammunition and good armor, then you're going to be successful. I think many of you already realize, and this is why you're running like low end budget gears. You can actually kill an enemy player if you have a better position or if you are um, catching them off guard. Like I had a game with a, I think it was a four, um, T4 ammunition. And there was a guy like running next to a fence or something. And I needed like two or three shots only. And I was surprised that that guy had T5 helmet, T6 armor. He had a pretty nice weapon, but I had a better position. I shot him. And this is good proof that gun and ammunition doesn't matter as much as you think. I see many players playing the game without helmet because uh, they think that, you know, if they get a headshot, they're going to die anyways. And the thinking is pretty much okay. The only thing that can make a difference if you are having a T5 helmet with a visor that protects you at least somewhat against T4 bullets. But other than that, like helmets are useless. T4, I would say, is the standard because that's kind of affordable. Uh, but T5 and T6, specifically T6. So comparing the price, for one T6 armor piece, you can buy at least five T4 armors. And you would assume that the T6, therefore, is five times better. It's absolutely not five times better. So I would focus more on becoming more tactical and strategic and polishing your skills instead of trying to like, play with highly modded guns and T5 because what's going to happen is that if you don't have the level of skill needed, then you're going to lose it anyways. And then you're going to be sad. I'm going to say that you know, I was running an MK14 T5 and I lost it with a T5 helmet. Of course you lost it because you are not there yet. 
Same applies to thermals, by the way. So most of the players lose their thermals because they think that they're going to be invincible if they pick up a thermal. At the time they enter the game, it's already written in stone that they're going to lose it. And in most cases, they lose it against somebody who is running with a much cheaper loadout. So to get to a conclusion or to close this, every time you die in the game, guys, and if you check the kill cam, many of you are going to say that it's because of your phone and lag or, or ping or whatever. But let's put those aside. So if you just purely focus on the game, then in most cases you're going to die because your positioning is wrong, your timing is wrong, like from topic number one, or from topic number two because your aim isn't good, um, your nade wasn't accurate. And there are going to be just very few scenarios where you die because of your gun. And actually, if you're running a shotgun or some kind of cheap, like AKS 74U, then it's not actually the gun that kills you. If you're stupid enough and you want to fight like a T5 guy with an AKS 74U, then it's not actually the gun's fault. It's your tactical decision which uh, killed you. The thing you can instantly practice are your skills. You can anytime hop into the training ground and practice something that is very specific like throwing nades. And the tactic or strategic type of things, well, that's hard. It's hard because most of the decisions you make during the game are like automatically triggered, you know, by a thought. You don't really think about like what to do or how to move. This is why many of the players who come from Call of Duty Mobile or other games who are suffering now. Not everybody likes that you need to be patient, for example. It's not for everybody. And it doesn't mean that I'm not gonna do guides, like weapon guides, armor, or loadout guides. Absolutely not. Those things also matter, but it's only like 20-25%. Share your opinion on the topic of what you think. Do you think the gun and the ammunition matters a lot? Or is it just, you know, secondary? And of course, I'm wishing you a lovely day. Shoot, loot, subscribe, and see you in the next one. Bye.